Do we need another pandemic to receive another round of stimulus check? No. Yes, we don't need another pandemic to receive another round of stimulus check. A recession is actually a good thing where end of the one chapter begins the another one. Now, who wants to keep paying higher prices for groceries? You could say it's a reset for our economy. So there is a possibility of Congress approving stimulus check if certain circumstances unfold. Now, you might be wondering, can we be really certain about Congress? Will they going to take action this time? If this happens, yes, you would be going to receive another round of stimulus check. Low income beneficiaries, people on fixed income, people receiving social security, retirement, SSDI, survivors, VA, SSI, seniors, older adults and people with disabilities. Yes, we don't need another pandemic to receive another round of stimulus check. Today, I have got some exciting news about stimulus check. So let's deep dive into all the details. All right, guys. So before we proceed further, I would like to elaborate that these stimulus checks will be immediately sent out if certain conditions are met. If you are low income fixed income beneficiaries of social security, then you could be eligible for the financial benefit. However, guys, before we proceed, make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel. Let's jump right into all the details. So let me explain the situation. Is the next round of a stimulus check is on the verge, is on the horizon or what's really going on? When those stimulus check will be sent out quickly. I'll explain why the next round of stimulus check might be already onto the horizon. All right, guys, so let's start discussing the August 2023 Social Security, SSI, SSDI, Fixed Income Beneficiaries Payment Schedule. Let me summarize the August 2023 Payment Schedule. First of the month, that's when SSI recipient supplemental security income beneficiaries will be going to receive their payment. Third of the August, that's when if you have received social security before May 1997, be sure to check out third of the August. If your birth date falls between 1st to 10th of the month, check out 9th of the August for your benefits. And check out 16th of the August if your birth date falls between 11th to 20th of the month. If your birth date falls between 21st to 31st of the month, then be sure to check out 23rd of the August 2023. Alright guys, so things are changing rapidly. We are in a rather unusual time with some unexpected developments, bills, packages, proposals, or the need for the social security reform. With all those latest information, all this latest update, it's kind of a busy and uncertain time. I wanted to break down all the situation that could lead to more stimulus packages, more stimulus checks, particularly targeting low-income population. And yes, we are talking about a specific group of people right over here. Now, there have been a significant events in recent months so it's essential to understand their impact on your finances and benefits so let's start discussing the possibility of the congress approving a stimulus check so there is a possibility of congress approving stimulus check if certain circumstances unfold now you might be wondering can we be really certain about congress will they going to take action this time there is a growing likelihood if the situation continues to develop in a certain way then there is a very high chance that you will be going to receive another round of stimulus check now some people may argue that congress would never approve another round of stimulus check but you know guys you need to take a look at the data history repeats itself history tells us the truth in the past we have seen divided congress come together and support american people during these financial crises so it doesn't matter whether the congress is divided are they working in union the truth is that congress comes together when they know the impact of the stimulus check is absolutely necessary and it's essential for economy to recover if the right circumstances circumstances arise, they will be going to likely act once again to send out the stimulus check. Now, let's focus on to the current state of the economy. You may have heard about the various reports into the news. Economy is showing signs of distress. Banks are collapsing and this could be an indicator of larger financial crisis ahead. And we have seen countries intervening and rescuing these collapsing banks. However, guys, it's likely putting a bandaid onto a problem. The actual problem is much deeply rooted right here into the economy which won't go away by simple band-aid fixes. The cracks into the financial system, the roots of the problem are still there and the situation needs to be carefully monitored, assessed and then needs to be resolved as well. The good news is actually bad news when it comes down to the Federal Reserve and their concern about the inflation. Now let's take a look at from a Federal Reserve's perspective. Federal Reserve also known as Central Bank and its chairman Jerome Powell, they closely monitor the state of the economy and to them a good news into the economy 
like low unemployment and healthy economic growth means one single thing inflation is too high and strong economy makes it challenging for inflation to come down and that's why to address this issue federal reserve takes action by tightening their rip onto the economy and raising the interest rate now well you might be wondering how does this affect you me as a individuals as a normal household as a normal american well here is where it hits our home as the federal reserve raises the interest rates it puts pressure onto the consumers take for example credit card balances for example the average interest rate onto the credit card has risen nearly 20 percent up from the last 16 percent a year ago now this simple little change makes it harder for the consumers to pay off their debts and increase the overall consumer debt now let's take a look at low unemployment is it good news or bad news although low unemployment rate may seem like a great news on a first sight the federal reserve sees the thing differently they look at it from a perspective as a sign of an overly strong economy and this result in higher wages excessive demand for workers consequently federal reserve sees the need to slow down the economy leading to more aggressive interest rate hikes so we should pay our close attention to the federal reserve's action on to interest rate policies because those interest rate policies and what called quantitative easings are the key indicators how they are managing the situation essentially putting stimulus check into people's bank account into economy approach although it's a flawed system the tool they have used before may be used once again now unlike the previous round of stimulus check tied to the covid 19 pandemic you know the situation this check has designed to aim and to revitalize the economy but this time it's entirely different as it won't be around the covid 19 relief instead there will be an effort to bring economy back on the track in the current potential financial hardship into the past we have witnessed similar stimulus check happening during financial crisis like the great financial crisis when economy takes a hit and these checks becomes a tool to support the american people and businesses the current employment data is a rising concern despite the reports of the job creation large corporations are announcing significant layoffs and the numbers don't simply add up and you see how data manipulation happens this probably suggests there is a potential manipulation happening right over here there might be some inaccuracies in reporting those job losses now to effectively stimulate the economy it's very crucial to focus on low-income recipients many studies shows that they have higher tendency to spend all those cash stimulus check which drives the economic activity very rapidly so therefore targeting low-income individuals with the relief checks can have a substantial impact to revitalize the economy if you talk about the $1,400 stimulus check sent out in early 2021 the check wasn't directly related to COVID-19 relief as it was more like a general payment the exact reason behind those stimulus checks sent out in early 2021 are not entirely clear nevertheless people received those stimulus checks and you know what who cares once you receive the money who cares we are all happy about it regardless of the specific purpose but here is the crucial point the next round of a stimulus check if there is a next round then it will likely serve a different purpose altogether it won't be for another covid 19 relief package because covid is already gone instead it will be more likely focused on revitalizing the economy considering the current inflation or bringing down the economy back from its current state now we have seen the similar kind of a situation into the past where great financial crisis happened and during those economic challenging times we have received those stimulus check you can think of a recession as a great reset you can think of recession as a reset for our economy when economy experiences a significant downturn it can actually help bring down the inflation now trust me on that recession is actually a good thing you could say it's a reset for our economy where end of the one chapter begins the another one now who wants to keep paying higher prices for groceries other everyday items necessities definitely i don't want to pay higher costs i know about you you don't want it either therefore it's essential to understand the reason behind this stimulus check might be different but the primary goal is to address economic challenges for instance in year 2000 stimulus check was issued to tackle the financial industries collapse while in the year 2009 it was aimed to combat the real estate market crash what about year 2023 2024 the current indicators are pointing towards the possibility of another financial crisis what might be the exact catalyst for the next stimulus check is still a question we have observed these cracks into the financial system into the banking sector and federal reserves interest rate hikes those could be the contributing factors contributing more to the instability additionally there are inconsistencies into the unemployment data and with such reports both of the job creation and the significant 
and layoff into the large corporations well all those important key indicators raises a very important concern and suggests that economy is not standing onto the stable grounds therefore it's essential to keep eye on the situation all those key indicators as well if the financial situation deteriorates further then congress might resort familiar pattern of passing substantial relief packages that includes another round of stimulus check to support american people and our entire economy if it materializes it will be likely on economic recovery rather than covid-19 relief the main intention is to revitalize the economy boost the consumer spending and stimulate the overall economic activity many of those historical events showed that such stimulus check can be very effective tools in times of financial crisis as those stimulus check comes to rescue very rapidly they inject bunch of money directly into the people's hands into individual businesses encouraging individuals and businesses spend more money so you really have to ask yourself is the next round of a stimulus check is on the verge is on the horizon or what's really going on what it means for you and that's where it brings us to the next round of stimulus check i'll explain why the next round of stimulus check might be already on to the horizon so what it really means for you and economy now the next round of stimulus check whether you call it economic impact payment covid relief check or any fancy name quantitative easing fourth round of stimulus check is not gonna going to be definitely about covid-19 because covid-19 is already gone but definitely it's gonna be about the economic recovery when this situation demands it when economy is crumbling congress will rush to pass another kind of a relief package possibly multiple ones to just to test out the effectiveness of the package the end goal is to help american people and businesses to recover quickly in the time of crisis these packages always include relief for the american people and support for struggling businesses millions of unemployed individuals might also receive help during these challenging times and it's coming from the historical pattern that we have seen into the past which we can expect to continue right here into the future as well now when the financial crisis hits the federal reserve will play a vital role in recovering the economy they'll be likely going to start aggressively cutting the interest rate and implementing what known as quantitative easing now quantitative easing involves printing tons and tons of money trillions and trillions of money for the struggling economy while it's a messy system this measure is taken as an emergency to keep the economy sustained and afloat now once the situation escalates congress will act swiftly to approve the stimulus check and to provide immediate relief to the people and businesses and they know how critical it is to respond promptly in the time of crisis and hopefully the process will be much quicker but here is the thing we need to understand that these situations will take time to really unfold right here into the economy you can't expect economy to crumble each and every day and frequently basis i mean what's the role of congress their role is to stabilize the economy and maintain the economy as a whole system also targeting low income fixed income beneficiaries to receive stimulus check is really important ensuring effectiveness of those stimulus check because lower income individuals tend to spend all that cash all that money into the economy which stimulates the entire economy rapidly on other hand higher income individuals more likely save their money into the banks which will not help the economy to grow essentially where the money is actively circulating through the economy this is where the growth happens by targeting low income individuals we can ensure that money goes wherever it needs the most stimulation into the economic growth although congress is known for its slow pace they can act very swiftly into the situation where it really demands for another round of stimulus check just like a turtle which can be surprisingly fast if it wants to congress can make quick decision when it comes down to the stimulus check economy requires immediate support while we are waiting let's remember that it won't be another covid-19 check it will be about rescuing the economy so we must stay informed what all the important signs and understand congress can act very quickly when the need for the stimulus check arises please don't forget to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel and this is kedar from how to guys see you in the next video